Hello, Uncle Larsen here again, and this is my Amiga 4000. I have said this before, but when I was a kid, my brother had an Amiga 1200, and he knew someone that had an Amiga 4000, and it was very, very expensive. And as a kid, you're sold. That's it. He had the 1200, and you can get the 4000. I thought it would be the best computer in the world. And today, I have got this Amiga 4000. So that is so nice. It has a GoTek uh, DVD RAM, and I have a dual monitor set up here, and because I have a CyberVision 64 installed, so you can get this nice dual monitor setup. Uh, multitasking is not that easy uh, because the screen you cannot work on both screens at the same time. Um, and you can, well, there is not that much you can do, but you can at least have this monitor active. And if the program supports multitasking, like this one, you can, you can have something running here. Like, uh, if I press Amiga M, now it's a little bit flickering, I guess, but hold on. I can start a clock, perhaps, just, um, Okay, so you can see the clock is ticking along while... Oh, the mouse is actually not working. Kill the sample? No. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so multitasking is a little bit uh, limited. Now actually... Okay, so now actually I have... I can work on this monitor, and this isn't going black. It hasn't happened before. So I have installed WHT load. And this machine is actually, it doesn't have the O40 processor. Uh, the seller just, just didn't have the O30 sticker. And put the O40 sticker instead. Um, at least that is more suited for uh, WHD load, I guess. It's more compatible. So this is the first Amiga I have with the WHD load. So this is very nice. I can finally play any game I want very easily. And also I can play AGA games. I thought this game was so cool and interesting because uh, because of the intro and also the music. I, it was interesting to use so many different weapons. And of course, the most uh, fun thing was the flamethrower. And um, what? Is it this one? Okay, so you shouldn't really only buy the flamethrower uh, because you don't have enough ammo, I think. You don't have enough ammo. No, but this game is hard. No, no, I was out of ammo. Anyway, I also have this O60 accelerator card, uh, Cyberstorm MK2. 
I got it from the seller and he told me it wouldn't work. The machine wouldn't boot. But still I had to try. He told me that maybe it need to be the sockets need to be reflown or uh, flown. I don't really flow the socket. Uh, but looking at the card, it seems like someone has tried to reflow it already. And it was, there was a lot of flux all over, so I tried to clean it up. And then I put it in the machine. I changed the jumpers uh, on the Mega motherboard from using the internal um, clock to using the external clock instead because it has a crystal on the accelerator. Um, so I think that's correct, but the machine would not boot. So maybe I need to send it off to someone else who can repair it or maybe I need to... Yeah, I don't know yet. So I thought I'd show you how I installed this Amiga. I think I forgot to mention that I'm using a compact flash card reader uh, for my hard drive in the Amiga. And to install it, I used uh, HSTVB. I will leave a link to everything that you can download in the video description. And also to a detailed tutorial. So this will only be a short uh, explanation. But you can download uh, pre-made packages uh, of different sizes. So I chose 8GB to have room for all the games. And in Amiga OS, you put your workbench that you're going to install and in kickstart folder you put all the kickstarts for example from, from uh, Amiga Forever or your own kickstart files and in user packages you install or you put the games and demos in these uh, folders here then you click build install entries then you double click the HSD WB image setup here. Uh, many of these things can take a long time, so if certain things take hours, then that's normal. Then you either click A500 for the, I guess, non-AGA machines, or the 1200 for the AGA, AGA computers. Then you just go through the installation. At some point, you will select, you want to install perhaps classic workbench or better workbench or WHD load, whatever you want, you have to scroll down in order to click the right button to install the packages you have selected. Once that's done, you can use a program like Win32 Disk Imager, and then you open your file. Uh, you have to select all files here, uh, click your hard drive image, and then you just write. Now I had a few problems in the beginning because my SD card was not being detected by my Amiga. So I had to use a different card. Also when I booted my Amiga I had to hold right mouse button to be able to go into settings and select my SCSI device using internal kickstart for SCSI device. Something like that. Uh, then it would work. So I thought I would try multitasking again. Uh, I don't know why the terminal is like this, but let's see what happens if I try to try to do something. Will this one still work? Yeah. Looking for credits. Nice. With this Amiga, I'm going to turn it into the most the most modern Amiga or the most high-end Amiga using any kind of modern parts. Modern oh, sorry about the noise. Modern network cards, modern graphics card, uh, modern or modernizing the mouse, up upgrading it with this laser mouse thing. And uh, that is going to be very fun to just see how far I can push this Amiga. I hope I can get the 68060 card working also. Maybe I can do some simple web browsing. By the way, don't hesitate to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video. Or dislike if you dislike the video. Comment down below. 
and I hope to see you next time.